Sir Alex, I see you wish to work on me boat. Yes, I would like to learn all the ropes of seafaring. Very well. You may be a crew member on my fine boat. The only rule is not to make fun of my name. Oh, okay, thanks. By the way, what is your name, just for reference? It would be Captain Splashy Pants. Did you say Captain Splashy Pants? Why did they call you that? Oh no, not again. Avasti Lego Minecraft fans, set number 21152, The Pirate Ship Adventure. 386 pieces with Alex, Zombie, Pirate, Parrot, Turtle, and Dolphin. On the back of the box, what you can do with this set, build a few different models, and swim turtles and dolphins all around. Inside the box, there'll be instruction booklet number one, instruction booklet number two, and instruction booklet three. Bag one, bag two, bag three of pieces. Now let's scallywag us up a build and check out this pirate ship. Constructed we have the Pirate Ship Adventure with Dolphin, Turtle, and Parrot. This feels like a well-balanced medium-sized set. You get to build a nice medium-sized pirate ship, and the Skull Island hideout fills in much larger than I thought it was going to be originally. In fact, I almost wish some of those pieces went to the pirate ship, but then where would the pirate ship hide all its gold, that sort of thing, it balances pretty good. Many figures go, we have a pirate of course. Yarg! We have Alex looking to be riding a birch built boat. Hello! And we have a zombie up in flames over there. So, quite the amount of minifigures and life forms in this set. A few of the other pirate ship details we have we've got this nice opening and retracting plank that you can jump off, and it comes out on either end. We have a very flashy red and white sail up front with a pirate symbol banner up on it. We have a map over here on the mast, there's a compass, and we have a couple firing projectiles to shoot with. 
I actually caught that with my hand. I can't believe that for cannons. Over on the back side, we have some skulls. Turn them which way you would like. Looks like there's a little area to sit a figure down in there behind the boat. Kind of more like a little skiff or something, not like a full-blown boat. Perhaps someday in the future we'll see a much larger boat. Oh, and then there's the dolphin and the turtle. I kind of feel like the dolphin turned out pretty well. We've got articulation on its fins and the back flipper here. And it feels very much to what we see in the game. I like the eyes looking out on the sides. The turtle, I'm not so sure. I think it's okay. I kind of wish the shell had a little more, uh, maybe smaller square bricks, but pretty good too. We've got articulation in the flippers, and so you can kind of stand him, and you can kind of sit him down, and you can kind of spin him too, which I like to do. Good color choice with those bricks as well, so turtle and dolphin turned out pretty neat. And up here on the island, we have a parrot too. Parrot feels smaller than I would have thought, but really that's pretty much a good scale for the parrot. I like the color pattern tile on its wings, and I suppose you can move those wings around a little bit where you want them. It's a really nice colorful topper piece for any of these parts of the set, just place the parrot up on top, add some life to it. Back to the island, we have a TNT brick here. I'm trying to figure out what these are. These are something from the aquatic expansion I'm not really identifying well right now. A nice skull face mountain with a gold tooth. How many skull face islands have we done now? Quite a bit of space on this island too. Like again, I'm saying it was much bigger than I thought. We have a loot chest back here with a fish and about four studs of gold and there's another gold block under here. So a nice little place to hide your bounty and kind of contrast your boat next to. Like many of the previous 2018 and 2017 sets, we can rebuild this model in a few quick steps. Let's go do that, see what we got. And we've constructed our second layout, the only other option really given in the instructions. Now the island makes a little more sense as now the pirate ship has been quickly taken apart and reattached to the island. The pirate ship actually comes apart really easily, just some clips inside that fit into each other and then onto the island we have clips as well. Easy, quick to snap in and out. And I kind of like that idea because now the pirate ship can head home, this could be its base of operations, drop off its loot, fight a zombie or two, and then when it's all through, the pirate ship can be rebuilt really simply. And then head on its way. Ah, and then back again. Overall, I think this is a great medium-sized scale set. Feels like it's built for anybody who would like to find one. Price point should be pretty decent at around, I think it was 40. I'll have to check back on that in a second. I think the flashy design of the sails with the red and white will really stand out on the box and get a lot of people interested. And with that little extra added touch of that rowboat, really makes for an adventurous set. Keep an eye out for this winter 2019, and arr, enjoy walking the plank. That's right, mateys. Get on that plank there, the are. Aw, oh, man. If only I had a pirate hat to boss squirrels around. Ah. Ah! This isn't the last you'll hear of Captain Splash Pants. Lego Minecraft The Pirate Ship Adventure arrives on store shelves in January 2018, runs approximately $40. If you're a fan of the high seas and storing treasure on islands, this construction set is for you. With plenty of minifigures, animals, and detail, this set will keep you very busy in the cold months ahead. However, if you burn up outside in the sun like a zombie, this set will still do that. That's what I have to say about that. Pirate squirrels were a thing, until we discovered telephone poles. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. 
Please, like, share, subscribe.